All right, guys, let's get to the finals here. We're going to our battle final this thing right now in five, four, three, two, one. Our battle. Round number three, our battle in San Francisco has just begun and our four finalists are up at the easels uh, readying themselves to display even more courage and creativity than they have in their qualifying rounds. We always say that in order to win an art battle, uh, you have to do the best painting of your life and then uh, do it again, all over again in the final round, even better. So. Uh, definitely a tough challenge for these guys tonight uh, and really, really happy for all of these artists as well because each of them are all new to Art Battle. That never happens in the final round, uh, so really, really stoked on that. And we are here with, uh, I think that this is Oksana, and we can see that she is very carefully uh, sketching out her composition right now battling a little bit of uh, shadow against the canvas as well. You know, there's always uh, different challenges in the live competition arena, uh, and looks like Oksana is taking it with stride. We can see that she's uh, crouching down now to avoid that shadow on her canvas, uh, so definitely adjusting. I, I really have a feeling that Oksana is going to be turning into an Art Battle All-Star very soon. Uh, and that we'll be seeing a lot more of her in Art Battle San Francisco. And also very uh, fun to announce as well that the next Art Battle in San Francisco on February 15th is actually going to be the regional finals, where we take all of the winners from this season uh, of ABSF and have them all in competition. And the single winner of that event will be moving forward to the national championship. So very, very uh, exciting stuff going on. And one artist from tonight's event will be moving forward into the finals next month. Uh, so high stakes tonight here for sure. We can see that Oksana uh, has her reference sketch as well, ready at the easel, uh, just perched on her support there. And I always love seeing that, uh, seeing an artist being super prepared. And especially, especially I love uh, seeing an artist prepared with reference work for their second painting, because there's never any guarantee as an artist when you sign up for Art Battle that you're gonna make it to the final round. You really have to have confidence uh, to confidence in yourself to have that faith uh, to create a second reference, to believe that you're going to be getting to the final. So I love seeing that confidence from Oksana. And back with Maisie here. Uh, and Maisie, we're getting a similar uh, approach, I think, to Maisie's qualifying round piece, where we have uh, this strangely posed figure that is existing uh, in the center of the canvas. This composition is, the figure is a little bit smaller, and so I think that we're gonna see Maisie really establish um, a little bit more of an environment in this piece, and it looks like we actually have a horizon line in the top third of the canvas there as well. Uh, so interested to see whether or not uh, this figure exists within a room. Right now it's giving me a little bit of like a Francis Bacon vibes where I uh, often he was doing these abstracted figures in the center of the canvas that were existing in these uh, strange rooms. So that's just kind of the vibe that I'm getting off of it right now, but would love to hear from you guys in the comments about uh, where you think Macy's influence is coming from. Um, what kind of feeling are you getting from this piece already? And we are swinging over to Geo, and Geo did our uh, figure in the first round that was viewed from the back and had that very tight bun. And we can see that Geo is again taking uh, this very careful approach where he is bracing his arm and steadying his brush hand uh, with his forearm of the other hand. 
love seeing that. And Gio is also a tattoo artist in San Francisco. So if you're uh, loving this painting and you want to see what Gio's tattoo work is like and uh, maybe visit him in his tattoo studio, go to the Art Battle uh, San Francisco Instagram and we have linked all of our artists' profiles there and you'll be able to check out Gio's work. So similar approach here with this character, uh, also getting this back view. We have that tight bun um, being established again, very similar compositional technique of um, a smaller figure in the center of the canvas. And looks like Geo is working on the back of the arms right now, um, keeping this very symmetrical at this point. So we're just over five minutes into our final. And we can see that Geo is very relaxed. Uh, definitely, I think, has a plan for how he wants to build this piece. Um, and I think that this is definitely going to function as a companion piece to his uh, first qualifying round. So for collectors that are looking at uh, both of these pieces side by side, might potentially want to purchase both of them as a collection because I think that they're really going to play well off of each other. Looks like a continuation uh, story for this character. And now moving over to Baya. Uh, and we can see just the edge of her canvas here, but we can already tell the color palette that she's using is that dominant blue. And we've got a lot of blue going on in the canvas. Uh, with this very cool gradient technique, we've got uh, darkness in the sky and light, what looks like water in the front of the canvas. And this is interesting compositionally because usually when we're seeing um, a landscape expression, we're often seeing the weight or the darkness of the canvas in the bottom half. So the way that Baya is approaching this piece has really flipped it on its head. Um, we're getting the weight at the top of the canvas and that's expressing this uh, gorgeous night sky that we just saw her kind of sparkle these uh, stars onto by hitting her brush off of her hand. And now we can see that she's adding uh, a few larger stars in there as well. Yeah, those stars are really setting this piece off for sure. Uh, the balance of getting those hits of white in this color field, this dark color field, is really helping to harmonize the piece with uh, the lighter colors that are in the foreground. Back with Oxana now, and uh, totally, totally different approach uh, to her original qualifying round piece that was employing a lot of negative space as uh, a focal point. We can see that Oxana has really covered a lot of the canvas with this kind of periwinkle blue, uh, almost like a purpley cerulean mix. Uh, and ha that's dominating, I'd say, about three quarters of the canvas. And then we have uh, that top portion, that last quarter uh, or last third there, that is that darker blue. So looking forward to seeing how this comes together, because at this point, it's still very abstracted. Potentially, those two um, pieces that are left white could be... Uh, highlights on legs is maybe something that I'm guessing. Um, again, something that I really enjoy about our battle is uh, seeing the way the piece reveals itself over time. And so I'm really enjoying actually that uh, this piece isn't serving obviousness to me at this point. I'm really looking forward to continuing to see the evolution. We are just about halfway through our final round of Art Battle in San Francisco, our final qualifying event before the San Francisco finals. So some really high stakes here tonight. 
Uh, and voting is now open at the link on your screen, artbattle.com slash AB2426. Uh, now we're getting some hits of pink in here from Oxana. Wow, a lot has happened uh, on Maisie's canvas, and I'm so into it. The, we're really getting treated to all of these super fun abstract elements uh, that are coming together to express space and the figure. I just really am enjoying how unconventional the execution here from Maisie is. Um, we see this room, we now have this uh, armchair, but they're expressed in this really energetic way. Even just the, uh, the kind of lazy stance of the figure that's in the chair with the one foot up, uh, really enjoying the sense, like the attitude that's coming through from that. And these little hits of uh, pink to highlight is great too. And we can really see that Maisie is uh, vibing off of the energy in the room and of course our DJ as well. And just seeing Maisie kind of making these decisions of where she wants to place uh, all of these different colors is something that I really enjoy as a spectator. We're seeing Maisie picking up these colors, taking a moment to assess the painting, and then seeing what the painting is asking for. Um, and that really underlines kind of the ethos of uh, Maisie's studio practice of that intuitive mark making. And then we have this kind of minimalist approach uh, from Geo, very, very similar to the qualifying round piece, uh, getting the, almost treating the paint as like a watercolor technique with these super subtle gradients um, and very careful brushwork in the way that he's expressing these uh, subtle shadows. Just getting those super, super precise lines of the straps of this shirt here. Ah, so happy to be here for this moment of uh, when Geo is executing the this more expressive area of the painting and just really going nuts on uh, this flourishing skirt. I think that we missed uh, we missed it in the first round, just these moments uh, of catching Geo doing this on the canvas. And so it's really fun to get to see this level of expression from him. Uh, where originally we're so used to seeing him working in this very, very careful style uh, up until this moment in the round. And now we're really seeing him branching out, um, getting very expressive, getting really into the paint, painting with his hands. Back over to Baya here. And this piece has evolved so much since we last saw it. Uh, still creating that really interesting divide of the light and the dark with uh, the sky and all of those starlit elements. But now we have Baya's kind of signature uh, roiling water and waves happening in the foreground of the canvas. And I think that that's just created so much more strength in this piece. It's very visually arresting uh, to kind of see the depth of this wave and the different levels of translucence being expressed basically solely through texture and color which is a very, uh, it's a very challenging thing to do, a heavy paint application that is able to express water. So great job, Tobiah. We are entering our last five minutes, our final quarter of this third round of Art Battle in San Francisco. 
Uh, our final four are just doing a great job and are absolutely painting their hearts out. I think everyone has done a great job of time management this round as well, uh, which is something to be said or is quite a triumph for these artists given that this is their first art battle. Uh, very mature live painting techniques being established here. Um, lots of crowd wooing as well, especially from uh, Baya and from Geo with that skirt moment. Very cool. I think that uh, the technique here and the building of this piece is going to be something that the crowd really appreciates from Baya as well. Uh, I think that there's probably quite a lineup around the back of her canvas. I am sure that the crowd has congregated there and are really enjoying the kind of the pops and surprises and the tactility of this piece. Ah, and now we're getting our reveal from Oksana. And this is so cool. I, we have our character, um, and this is very much like a celebration of uh, clothing and like almost a, a French, like a, a French aesthetic of old uh, Moulin Rouge posters and fashion uh, and couture illustration. We're really getting um, an emphasis on the flow of clothes here and this element of that periwinkle blue uh, against that more midnight blue is a really interesting component as well that just brings it into that kind of graphic realm. And the addition of this blonde here is uh, just really bringing home that focal point for the figure as well. Creating such a nice contrast against that dark blue. There's a great opportunity for the eye to really bounce around this piece, the way that Oksana has uh, layered this composition and has created almost um, like an S curve for your eye to follow. From the top of the head of the figure down to their toes. Absolutely stunning piece uh, from Oksana and looks like she may have even actually stepped away from the easel. Oh, no, she was just bending down to get more paint. So two minutes remaining on the clock. And we're getting our final detail moments here from Oksana. Uh, just the addition of that black striping on the side of the face really helps to emphasize. And speaking of that black striping, uh, we are also getting it from Maisie here, adding those emphasis points around her figure as well. It's funny seeing two artists who have such different styles um, employing a similar technique, but in their own visual language. We have Oksana uh, using that very specific thin line work uh, to emphasize her character. And then we have Maisie, uh, who is doing this very intuitive approach and uh, is kind of picking and choosing the moments of the canvas that speak to her to add these uh, elements of contrast with her black line work. So very different usage of a similar technique. And that's something that I find really, really interesting. I think that the feeling of this character is so evident. I, I think we're all relating to that kind of uh, lazy day opportunity to relax. Oh, so much fun. The addition of the uh, those little toenails just really bring it home for me. I'm really happy that we caught that moment with Maisie. We're in our final 30 seconds now.
really getting into these final moments. Seven, six, Really fantastic final round of Art Battle in San Francisco. Uh, so many different styles present as well. Uh, this really cool piece from Geo. I love the way that it evolved uh, and went from this highly specific style of painting into being very expressive um, and painterly and loose in its second half in this emphasis of the skirt. I think that's a really interesting technique and I'm sure that that's going to be uh, something that translates to the crowd really well as well. And now moving over to, I think our next painting here is Bias painting. And we're gonna get to see the uh, final result of all of those gorgeous uh, blues just layering over top of each other. Yeah, the luminosity in this piece is so undeniable. There's such a great array of textures here. We have that kind of linear texture happening in the sky, uh, and then the really sumptuous uh, texture of the water and the way that it's just curving and playing into each other uh, and just really leaping off of the canvas. Just a fantastic job from Bayab. The addition of the planets as well was something that was totally unexpected for me and I think brings this piece into a little bit of that kind of surrealism round, uh, realm and that's something that I think really adds that unique spice into this piece. So voting is now open at artbattle.com slash ab2426 and we will have one winner of the night crowned and that winner will be moving forward into the san francisco city finals happening on february 15th so high stakes here tonight make sure that you go to that link and bid uh, and vote and bid all of the works created are also available for a silent auction. So if you've been uh, falling in love with any of these pieces as you've been seeing them uh, being created, make sure that you head to that link and check out the auction and place some bids and support these artists. It's a great opportunity to collect. A lot of these artists uh, are selling for quite high out of their studio so it's a great accessibility point to not only collect a new piece of art and support these artists um, but get get a piece that uh, it represents a memory the because you've just watched the birth of this painting happening we will be announcing the results of our third and final round in just a few moments. We have lots of votes rolling in right now. So stay tuned for our winner announcement, uh, which will be coming very, very shortly. An absolutely gorgeous uh, final output from Oksana. Uh, really, this piece came together in such an unexpected way. And I think that that is going to lend itself well 
to uh, Oxana's voting stats. I think that people are going to be really um, excited about the way that Oxana built this piece and created all of these surprising elements. I think that the performance aspect of this piece is something that uh, the crowd is really going to appreciate. Who the round three winner is? That's what I like to hear. To begin with, all of this art is fucking awesome, and I super appreciate all of you coming out tonight and bidding on all of this art to support local artists. But without further ado, the winner of art battle tonight and of round three is Oksana! The, uh, the auction will be closing at 10.07. Please bid early, bid often. After 10.07, you winners will get a link texted to you. Follow that link to pay. Once you get that receipt, come up to the DJ booth and I will give you your art. Thank you all so very much. Our winner of... Art Battle in San Francisco tonight has just been announced. A huge congratulations to Oksana Fersenko. Uh, a really, really exciting night for Oksana, her very first art battle, and she won. So big congrats to Oksana. Two very well-executed pieces, and we will be seeing Oksana next month in the San Francisco finals on February 15th. We will also be streaming that show. So stay tuned to the Art Battle social media to get details about that. Um, and a big shout out to all of the artists who painted tonight. It takes a lot of courage and creativity to step up to the easels and they have done just that and created some really fantastic work here tonight. Um, and of course, a massive, massive shout out to our team on the ground in SF. Uh, they run a really amazing show, and it has been an absolute pleasure to watch it unfold with all of you tonight. So thank you so much for joining us on the stream. Uh, once again, congratulations, Oksana, and we will see you at the finals. Good night, everyone.